Hello, hello! Welcome to my channel! I'm Stephanie and you're in my sewing room and I'm really excited to share a new purchase. I got a new sewing machine and I want to share that with you. Now, if you're new to my channel, this is going to be a, a chatty video where I just talk about my experience, why I got a new machine, why I picked the one that I did, and less about, for example, like uh, the instructional, unboxing, what it came with, all of that. I'll talk about that, but it's not that kind of video. It's more like, hey, girlfriend, I got a new sewing machine. Want to hear about it? <laughs> so, that's what happened. Now, let me just tell you the story of buying this. So I did a car vlog, which is just kind of chatting on the while I'm on my way shopping, and I explained this, and I showed in the car vlog a little video uh, of me buying it in the store. So you might want to go look at that video uh, if you want to get the whole story. But basically, I've been thinking about getting um, a new machine for a while now, and my progression of sewing machines goes like this. Um, in the 80s, early 80s, I bought a featherweight from a lady on a sales list. We didn't have Craigslist back then, but it was like a marketplace kind of thing. And I have to say, I was so poor. I was uh, just taking care of babies. I had no money. And there was this um, sewing machine for like 50 bucks or like something small like that. And I could afford that, but I didn't even have a car to go look at it. Like I was, I was, I, I've always wanted to sew. My mom had a sewing machine, so I wanted this machine something bad. I called the lady and I said, could you hold off, um, you know, selling it until my husband can come home from work and drive me to look at it? Because I have kids and stuff. And she said, I'll bring it to you. <laughs> so this lady, that I don't know, came to my house, walked into my kitchen, sat this sewing machine on the table, proceeded me, showed me how to work it, and I gave her the money. And I think she was happy because that sewing machine had a really good home. Now, fast forward to, you know, maybe the 2000s. Like, that's the only sewing machine I had for all those years. I decided to move up in the world. So I went on the marketplace, probably Craigslist, and I bought a sewing machine for $150, and it was a Sears white something, I don't know, uh, from another lady who bought it for her daughter who didn't want to sew. So it was brand new, never used. And so I used that for many years. And then I thought, I want a brand new machine. I want to have something that's brand new to me. I've never had a brand new machine. So I bought a brother, Project Runway, which I love, and that was my brand new machine. And I think that machine cost me like $250. I have an unboxing on my channel and it's a great machine. It's a great machine, but I've gotten more into sewing since COVID hit, and then I broke, I thought, broke my serger, which was also just a brother um, $200 machine, and really it was just a cutter, who knew? And so I ran down and bought a very expensive, to me, a thousand dollars, and the guy's all, well, it's one of our less expensive, and I'm like, don't even say that! That's a lot of money! I bought my big amber, Viking Amber Air, and it's a dream. I love it, and so I was exposed to you know, what the sewing machine world had to offer. My mother has sewing machines that are very pricey and it's her hobby and it's something she's earned in her lifetime. It's nothing I felt like I could ever join. So I bought a new, I wanted a spare machine and I bought a new uh, machine, new to me, on Craigslist about a year ago, a Janome. And that's the one you see under the cover behind me. And it's also not an expensive machine. I think brand new, that probably cost $600. So a step up from my brother, <laughs> but not anything super fancy. And uh, I love that machine. And actually out of the two, I use that one more. So in this, the brother has left and the Janome has stayed as my spare. And so when I talk to my non-sewing friends, I say, no, I, I've, this is my first real sewing machine. <laughs> I feel like that's what it is. It does all kinds of stuff I don't even know. And I might not ever know some of it, but I'm learning. So I got this new machine and I knew I wanted something and I just, my personality is not to study and get lists of features and talk to everybody and say, which one's your favorite? And go down the list and say, this many like Bernina, this many like Faf, this many like, you know, Viking. Like I just, I'm not that kind of person. I just wanna have it done and be done with it. And that is what happened. I trusted Klaus, who sold me my Viking Amber Air, and he walked me around, and we looked at all the other brands, and um, I was kind of thinking the $15 to $2,000 range that I would have to save up for. And 
I kept going back to this used one that he had shown me and it was like new. The lady had traded in and so it was like new. It was, it, it, it's, they would sell something brand new and it'll look the same. It's, it's current. I mean, this machine is still under her, the machine, the factory warranty. That's how new it is. And um, so it was, I looked it up online when I, I left and I said, please put my name on it. I got to think. And uh, I didn't really think. I knew I was going to buy it. I looked it up on uh, the FAF website and it said $3,999. So basically four grand and they're selling it for one. And I, and I felt like I had that money in what I call my um, sewing account, which is little bits and bit, bits and pennies from YouTube and from selling my pattern, which is the hoodie hugs. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, I'll put a link to it in my description box. And I took that money and I bought this machine. I'm super excited. Um, as far as having faith that I made a good decision, Klaus was my number one reason. I'm buying from a store. They're backing it up with their own service. They offered a class how to use it. And I had a certain amount of trust because he hadn't led me wrong on the first purchase. And then in the back of my mind was Jen from in Jen's sewing room, who is a faff lover. And I just trust her too. <laughs> so I thought it's got two good recommendations that led me down the path of that's the machine I'm going to get. And then last, but definitely not least is it's pretty. Like it looks good in here. I have a lot of blue, so I don't really need a blue sewing machine. That purple, it's just perfect. It's it's not, they think about, um, obviously they put some thought into making this look good. So I'm really happy with it. So now you know how and why and how much. I'm gonna pull that machine right here and I'm just gonna show you what I got in the box and how I'm moving forward in using it. What do you think? Do you wanna see that? Here she is. Of course she's a girl uh with no name this is a beauty can you see the whole thing let's see yes um i'm just excited about it okay it's purple love that it is the um faff expressions 710 now this is used i did not buy this new so i call it new to me and uh, you worry sometimes did you get everything when you buy something um that someone had maybe they lost something so let me just get the accessories and I'll show you what I got okay back this is my store that I purchased it at it's called NorCal sewing and vac and my location was Elk Grove and if you want to see who I bought it from I'm gonna put a little clip from inside the store with my guy Klaus let me let's see if it shuts off again okay it's starting over okay if it shuts off, pay attention. Oh, okay. Do you mean this one? Right? <laughs> yes. Okay, gotcha. Hello, hello. Hello. So I'd like to introduce you to Klaus. How you doing, everybody? We hello. are in Elk Grove Sewing and Vac, and we are buying a new machine. Mm. New to me. New to her. New to me. Not new. New. But uh, Klaus sold me my Viking Amber Air, which I love, so I trust him. He's got that built in. Yeah. Tried and true. So why do you think this machine is something I'm going to be excited about? I mean, I say, when we go back future right, or history, right, Faf is an old name, but it's lately it's connected with Viking, so they merge together. So same maker? Same maker, but different factories, but at the same time, we have a built-in walking foot, Ooh. or in the uh, dual feet system, what is exclusive on Faf's or high-end machines. And a lot of the old ones, you have to buy an attachment. Here, you get it all with it. Open sleeve, has a nice extension table with that. Top and it loading, has a cutter, automatic has cutting. an automatic that cuts the thread. We don't need a scissor anymore. And all that kind of comes handy and makes it life easier. And nice. it's also, you can see, pretty color, nice purple. Very, very pretty. All the stitching you can see right It's going to look top. good in my sewing room. I think so. I, I've not been there yet, but I'm sure it's going to look good there. I want to thank you so much. Oh, I appreciate you're welcome. It. it was nice talking to you. All right. Hope everybody have fun out there. Okay, we will. Well, as long you. as we're sewing, right? Sure. Any questions? I'm. You always can call me here too. Okay, for from all questions. over the world? Everywhere. <laughs> so we can talk German if we need to sometimes. We got Tori, we got some other girls here, Roxanne. It. It's and international Julian. right here in Elk Yeah, you can call me. We got Spanish talking guy back here too. <laughs> so we may not slack on that. And anytime you're welcome, or give me a call. All right, well, thank you something. very much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. All thank right, you. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Isn't he great? Oh my gosh. And I, he's really willing to talk to everybody. <laughs> I just thought that was so cute. Um, it came with a machine. It came with 
the manual, which I'm, that's noisy. I'm big on the manual, and this is a beautiful manual. I think this is just going to be great. So it'll be really close by in a drawer all the time. Now, um, just big accessories. It has an add-on table, so you would pull this off and put that on. Let's just do it. Oh, you can't see it. Can you? Yes, you can. Isn't that cool? Some more space. Has a little ruler right here, which I think is very cool. And this is the way I'll be keeping it, mostly. Other big thing it has is this cover. So there's the cover, a hard cover. And then you just pull up this handle and you can carry it. It's substantial. It's not something I want to walk around with. Um, but I can move it from here to there and back and forth. But if I was going to carry it somewhere, I would need help with that. So that is that. And that's pretty substantial. So let's get these things out of the way. So I pulled out my manual and I looked to see what was included. And it had a, a list. I'm out of breath. It had a list of everything that was included with this machine. And I am happy to say that it was all here except for number 57, which is a large spool cap. And there was supposed to be two of them. She probably just thought it was something that went to another machine. I have tons of those too for my machines. So if I wanted to pick that up to be complete, and I will, um, then I will need that. I have the small one, which was on here. So in here, is how you work the machine. This is where you thread it. This is where you thread your bobbin. And it also has an extra sp spool built in if you do a twin needle. It's just there. You don't have to, it didn't need to be in, in the package. So that's there. And let's put that back. And then um, this is all computerized. Um, and then here is a cool little box that had all the zipper foots lined up and I'll show you that close up. So it's all here and this little pops out and there's some more space. Um, there's not more space. Oh, this pops out. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm glad I did this video. There's some extra needles. Everything's here now. Okay, you got to see that live in person. Okay, so this goes back. We have lots of storage here. So back to loveliness. There's all the foot, feet, and I did have them all. So everything's here. They gave me a whole packet of bobbins, and they said you needed special bobbins for this. So I will stock up on those because I do love to have a nice collection of thread colors. So that's about it as far as what came with the machine. So what do you think? Have I moved up in the world? I'm really excited. I feel like uh, this is going to take me years to figure out. <laughs> and I can move into all kinds of different uh, things that I might want to try. It has something called free motion. I don't even know what that is. It has the walking foot. It has the... These are the things that I wanted. I wanted the automatic cutter that you just push a button and it cuts the thread. I wanted the... Um, walking foot and I just I just wanted to know that this machine was going to grow with me because I feel like I don't use all the stitches but maybe I will now you never you never know so I'm just looking forward to seeing what what this does for me as um, in my sewing hobby does this take me to another place where I want to do more things I thought you might want to see it up close and personal so it has a on off button here and I love all of this lighting that it has here. And it also has a lot of space right here. I love that. And it also warned me when my bobbin was low. So that was a huge, wonderful surprise. I've threaded it a couple times. I've wound a bobbin. It's all pretty simple. I'm still getting used to the computer, which I'm waiting for it to come on. It has, you know, all of these settings. And I'm still having my manual close by for looking things up but I'm getting used to it and over here where you plug in your cords is a little stylus so I can come over here and touch 
but also I can use my finger to touch screen. So this is all stuff I need to learn. It has a little tie off, um, so it'll, it'll tie it off and cut the thread. See the little scissors, it'll cut the thread. It has the built-in walking stitch, which is nice because I sew on knits a lot. And it's just been a dream so far. Everything's right here. I'm loving it. I have not had any negative experience. It's all been just wonderful. Okay, what do you think? It's great, right? I mean, I really, um, I really think I'm going to enjoy this. And even uh, when we were talking about, you know, the expenditure of it, uh, the guy, Klaus, he said that this machine could still be a trade-in if I ever wanted to move up. What? possible reason could I ever have to move up. I mean, I don't quilt and I don't know, but you never know what hobbies you're going to take up in the future. So uh, we'll see. But I just want to say, I hope you enjoy this. I definitely will be talking about this machine more. Um, I'm learning it and I'm going to take the classes from the, from the store, but I have found um, a, a store like that that has all their classes on this machine online. I've already watched the videos on getting started, how to get it going, how to thread it, how to use it, how, what all the buttons do, what the, you know, so I will learn most of it online. And I did that with my Viking Amber Air. I went to the class, I learned a lot, but I didn't retain it. It's hard to retain. So I found a video series for the Viking Amber Air which took me through all the steps and I can go back to those videos and watch it again if I forget how to do this or how to do that. And I do that often. So I wanted a source for this FAF 710, Expression 710, to do the same thing. And I found a lady that I just, she goes my speed, which I like things fast, but she's slow enough that I um, am forced to pay attention, you know? And the way she explains it, it just makes sense to me. I'll put a link to that also in the description box. So if you're looking to learn how to use this machine, then um, this lady has it. Well done, very well done. And I'm just looking forward to um, taking my sewing to the next level. And I feel like, feel like uh, it's a club, you know, like exclusive club of, you know, very expensive, club <laughs> you guys oh my gosh the lady who traded this in here's the chatty part the lady who turned this in she bought a five or six thousand dollar machine and this was her trade-in <laughs> so, it just goes up from here i don't see myself needing that but you never know some of these hobbies get get to be where you really need stuff you know so i still have two two sewing machines which is now the faf 710 and the janome I looked at the Janome, it's a 3050 home decor. So it's not a newer model, but it's a great machine. I absolutely love it. Um, one of the things I had sitting on my brother that was sitting right there all the time was a walking foot because I do a lot of knits. And this machine has a built-in walking foot. And that's one of the things that was touted about it in the store. And I watched a video that I want you to go watch by Jen from In Jen's Sewing Room. And she was talking about her faff. And she said she loved that it had the automatic cutter and the walking foot. And I'm like, thank goodness, I'm not sitting here going, what? Why did I get that? Because I did get that. So... Uh, obviously when I'm talking fast, I'm excited. So I'm excited about this machine and I'm looking forward to, um, you know, taking my sewing to the next level, like I said. So I, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you want to have more chats about sewing, all things sewing, and just life in general, come back for Friday Sews because I do a vlog, which is a mixture of sewing and chatting and life. And it's every Friday. So come join in the conversation. We have a lot of fun. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. You take care now. Bye. Uh, there will be a bloopers at the end of this video. <laughs> okay. I will say that, like, my person, it, it's crooked. <sighs> I can't do this. <laughs> Let me show you. They're everywhere. Um, I think it's called Home and Decor. Okay, I looked at the Janome. It says Home Decor. Oh, I forgot already. 
I looked at the Janome. It says home. And <laughs> I forgot already. <laughs> 30, 50, 30, 50, 30, 50. You take care now. Bye.